Samir is seven years old. He is weak and suffering from a skin disease. His family is from Pakistan's Sindh province, one of the regions worst affected by the flooding. They were trapped in their village Shardadkot for one week in August, before they found temporary shelter more than 300 kilometers away in a roadside camp. One of Samir's brothers did not survive. His father, too grief-stricken to speak on camera. Shelters like these have become a mainstay. Many people have similar ailments. The floods have not only taken our homes, but also we are faced with acute diseases where everyone is suffering. The doctors just visit the camps, but we don't get proper treatment. It's very painful. Some have found assistance in charity-run camps, but even they are facing severe shortages. Almost all of us, including children, the elderly and women, got ill because we don't get clean drinking water and the government is not providing proper food. Kids have diarrhea and may die if they don't get proper medical care. The World Health Organization is concerned about the spread of cholera and local authorities say bacteria and parasites are thriving in the stagnant water, causing an outbreak of waterborne diseases. Total. The number of patients from the flood-affected areas are 550,000 gastro, 650,000 skin-related, 185,000 are malaria cases, and almost 12,000 are dengue-related cases, so it's a huge challenge. These camps have become homes and clinics, but they lack basic food, clean water and medicine. Stretching aid and healthcare workers to their limits.